right away, I see I've got a semicolon in choice B, so I should think about sentence structure. Do I have a sentence before and after that? Let's find out. Gitlin's use of the term referenced TV studios' practice of repackaging successful narrative formulas as new content. Yeah, his use of the term, you know, referenced a practice. It sounds like a sentence. It's a, it's a complete sentence. There's some kind of weird ordering of words, but it's a sentence here. Um, okay, so that check, sentence. Uh, in that era, even shows that varied only slightly from other shows still attracted sizable audiences. That also sounds like a sentence. So I'm done. That's it. What else could I do, right? I have two sentences. And unless I'm changing the wording in some way in these other choices, there is no other option here that allows me to join two sentences, right? A comma is not enough. A comma is not enough. And even two commas are not enough, right? So we need something maybe like a comma and a conjunction. Uh, but no, nothing here. It's, it's two sentences. We're done. So there you go. Um, this is the benefit of understanding the grammar rules and thinking of it as a limited menu. But certain things are top of the menu. Certain things are top of the list. And if you see a semicolon and a choice, it, it's, it's our first thing that we should be thinking about because it has such an easy test, right? Do we have a sentence before? Do we have a sentence after? If not, then fine, we cross it out. But then hopefully in that process, We've also learned where maybe we do need to put some commas because we've, we've kind of listened to the sentence structure and we understand why something wasn't a sentence. So we're not necessarily assuming B is right, but it's the easiest thing to test for. And in testing for it, even if it fails, we are learning something about the other choices. So it's just a good practice and it gives us something to do. The, 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 the worst thing you can do is just dive right in and start reading this because then you're just reading words without any sort of understanding of the structure. And that's what the question is testing. We need to understand the structure. So semicolons, top of the list. Got to check them first.